everyone's having a fantastic day or evening. Now this video is going to be a short video to tell you what to look out for with natural corkiness on plants, on cacti and succulent plants. Now you get a lot of corkiness, on, especially on cacti, because as you can see here, it doesn't look the most prettiest, but it's often caused from just the environment and sometimes the cold temperatures and the warmer temperatures and it just causes like a natural scabbing over the plant that happens with age. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've had a few people um, send me comments that saying that their plants are, are brown at the bottom and it's not as long as it's not soft and squishy then it's, it's nothing to worry about and a lot of people will panic and think oh my gosh it's rotting and obviously as with anything if it's brown and, and squashy at the bottom then the chances are it's rot and you have to do an emergency operation on your plant if there's any chance of saving it but um, in this case this is a different thing and I'm going to show you some examples on mine so if you have this on your, your cacti and succulents you know it's nothing to worry about other than it just looking a bit unsightly it's not going to hurt your plant. Now I'll just show you this, this is my big um, Trichocereus um, grandiflorus, <laughs> I want a name. Um, see it's also got a little flower bud already which is great. Um, spring just around the corner obviously. And as you can see here when I bought it it was perfectly green. I've had this plant for god knows how many years, possibly, possibly 20 years. I know I bought it when I was in my early 20s, a long time ago guys. And it has gone scabby over there. And when I was new to cacti and succulents, I used to worry, thinking, oh my god, it's rotting, they're the first sign of anything. But I've come to accept now that um, anything like scarring over the plant, as these little black scabs as well, is nearly always harmless. And I'm going to show you some other examples. Sometimes it's just part of natural corkiness, as you can see here. This is my Perogia Magnifica, and it's got little pups at the bottom of it. And this looks, although it's not the most prettiest thing, it's got like a bit like a concertina effect there. And with age, it's just gone so like a hard corkiness and brown. And if, you, if you're sort of a bit new to cacti, you'd think it was rotting. But I can assure you it's been like this for many, many years, and it's just part of the aging process. As you can see, I've got the same there on one of my trichoceres there at the base. And um, I'll show you this one also that's happening around the middle there. Sometimes it could be down to the fact that, um, sometimes I, I find with mine anyway, it's not that they're kept too cold because cacti can take very, especially some of these plants can take very minus temperatures. But unfortunately in Ireland, um, as in the UK and some, obviously many parts of the world, the humidity is often a lot higher than it would be in some of the deserts. <laughs> and the high humidity and the cold temperatures often what can cause these scabbiness I found with my plants anyway. To show you a few more examples, I'll just take you around. Yep, there's another one here. See, so this is a euphorbia, and that's got brown at the base. Again, just natural corkiness. And um, that little one there also. And, yep, here. There's my bigger puntia. Look at that, that's very corky all around there. Um, all that. Now it can sometimes, corkiness can sometimes be confused sometimes with scale insects, so don't get the two mixed up guys. Scale insects is a completely different thing and it's usually like little round dots. But um, corkiness is usually all over the, um, now this is one of my succulent plants here, my um, chrysoulas, that's also corky there. And then I'm going to take you around to my Euphorbia obesa, what a name, obesa. And you can see that's got corkiness found there naturally. That's got some on there. When they get damaged, they cork very easily. I'm going to take you to some of my other ones that don't look very pretty, but it is harmless. Now this, look at that. Doesn't it look an eyesore, guys? This is my uh, one of my Trichocereus scopicolas, and as you can see, it's got um, just usually down to environmental damage on there. It's completely harmless. And Trichocereus, these type of cacti, um, they do contain like a mescaline, which is actually a drug. Um, not that I've ever taken it or anything like that, but from what I've heard, a lot of people take it for shamanic purposes. And apparently it's due to, down to the alkaloids in the skin that gives off a lot of these black scabs when they get damaged. As you can see, it's with a lot of my plants. And this is one of my um, big, big plants here. My Piloso serious. As you can see, they're big scabbiness all at the bottom. Show you the length of this. Big, big plant. Now this actually, um, I got this actually from a guy in Dublin. <laughs> and um, he'd had it since a child. And he used to keep it outside in the summer and it fell over. The one time the wind knocked it over and it caused a lot of scabbiness damage. That's just damage scabbed. But again, harmless, just purely aesthetics. So that's just what to look out for. So guys, 
Do you know, if you're panicking, you think, oh my God, my plants are rotted. It's not always the case. Again, always look out for things. If damage looks soft at the base and squashy, then it's nearly always rot. And it's just knowing what to look out for, but don't be scared every time. There's a lot of the, um, the round cacti, do you see? <laughs> Difficult for me to reach in here, but to show you that also one there at the base, you can see one of my ferro cacti, it's all brown at the bottom. It is completely normal for it to do that as it ages, um, so don't panic guys. So there you go. <laughs> I just want to give you a little bit of information about that and I want to send you loads of love and tons of happiness and heaps and heaps of happy growing as always from Ireland. And until the next video, bye!